On Thursday, July 11th, Post 77 took on Lowell. Despite the game being at Ashland Middle School, Post 77 was the away team due to a field conflict in Lowell. Post 77 was trailing 5-2 until the top of the fifth inning. Ashland, Post patient. And he will hit this one in the air in front of the third baseman. Throw to first is going to get away from the first baseman. One run already in. Here comes Kavanaugh. He'll score as well. And it's a 5-4 ball game. Wipe the blood off that ball. It's this. Yeah. Oh, boy. So it was a smash. Glassburn reaches on the errant throw. Hornung scores. Kavanaugh scores. Post 77 in business. Lowell added a run in the bottom of the sixth, and it was a 6 to 4 Lowell lead with Ashland down to their final three outs in the top of the seventh. Base hit here. I believe Chris Ward actually worked in the first time these two teams met. This is ripped up the right side. That'll get through. Here comes Balowitz around to score, and the lead runner behind him is held up. And now they're going to send him as the ball got away. Kavanaugh trying to score, and the game is tied. 6 to 6. Drew Brancatori comes up in the clutch, El Presidente. Right. And this is up the right side. That's going to get through. Here comes Jewett around to score. Post 77 has taken the lead. Seven to six, an RBI single for Cole Glassburn. The Lowell coach is gonna be saying to himself, why did I yank my pitcher? Glassburn deals, runner taking off from first. to throw up by Jewett, over to second, and they got him! Game over! John Jewett ends it with a brilliant throw to second base. And John Mercury caught stealing, and Post 77 walks away with the 7 to 6 victory over Lowell. Post 77 hangs on and takes the 7 to 6 victory. Ashland Legion is now 12 and 0 on the season. Tom Nappy here with Cole Glassburn. Cole. A great come from behind win tonight, and you did it all out there. You came in in relief early on in the game. You pitched great against a very good low lineup, and you had a couple of big hits as well. Uh, how does it feel to have this come from behind win tonight? Uh, it feels good. Uh, my de my teammates definitely helped me out. Uh, they did a lot to start that last inning where we scored uh, our runs to get us back in the lead, and uh, I'm appreciative that they put me in a spot to win the game. So. And 12-0 and now on the season. How does it feel to be undefeated so late in the season? And did you ever think that you guys would be at this point? Uh, I knew we had a really talented team coming in, and uh, it, it feels really good. I mean, we're not as focused on that. We're more focused on uh, just keep winning, clinch a one seed for the playoffs, and then uh, keep going from there. So, and From what I understand, you got the Gandhi Trophy tonight. How does it feel to be able to take home the Gandhi Trophy for the night? Uh, I won't be taking it home because I'm not going to be here next game because I'm going to Washington, D.C. for the weekend. But, uh, I mean, it, it feels good. My teammates put me in a position to, to win that. So, um, yeah. And lastly, what's it been like to play with this group of guys? Uh, it's a really tight-knit group of guys, and uh, we, we all love each other. So, and we, we've been playing really hard this whole time, and uh, we've just kept succeeding. So, I mean, it's, it's just a lot of fun. It's a really good atmosphere out here. So, yeah, it's enjoyable. All right, Cole, congratulations on a great performance tonight and a great team win, and uh, we'll see you again soon. Yep, thank We're the you. away team tonight because uh, we swapped home games last time. They couldn't get a field, so they traveled to us twice. Um, we got on them early, and that was really our goal. I wanted us to go. I wanted us to get runs. I didn't want them to feel comfortable here, even though they were home. Um, and we did that, but then the bats went quiet. Had a lot of hits, got on base, but didn't have the timely hit to get runs in. Eventually, in fourth or fifth, we were able to get a little bleeder and get some luck on that throw to first, get two runs in. Um, but we knew, I mean, even in the dugout, they scored that run in the bottom of the sixth, and we're like, all right, we got our two, three, four. Kevin gets on, you know, that's huge. And I mean, a lot of props to Kevin. I mean, sophomore, really just started playing, just started making his way in the lineup, and he's really been producing. Leads us off with a double there that got the energy going. Jackson picks us up all the time, stings the ball. Even when he gets an out, it's always productive. Um, then it just... <laughs> Then it just kept carrying over. Um, and Drew, two, two, two more shout-outs I'm going to give. <laughs> Drew, I mean, he hasn't been swinging it well lately. He's been a little cold. He's been battling a hamstring injury. Um, came off a great season for Hopkinton, but been a bit of a slump. 
and we talked pregame. I was like, hey, listen. I was like, when you're behind in the count, like, or, or you're ahead in the count, I was like, be confident. Like, you don't need to be overly patient. Be confident. Like, I know what you can do, and he does too. Um, and so we gave him the call there. We re-entered him, and he gets up 2-0. And it's like, we sort of looked at each other, and I was like, hey, this is what we talked about. He got his pitch, and he ripped it. He made the most of it. That was the biggest hit we've had all season. And then Cole, I mean, can't say enough about him today. Gets that winning single, obviously, but in relief, five and a third, I think it was. Yeah. Five and a third, shuts them down, one run, like, phenomenal. His improvement in the past year is incredible. Two, two great kids, really.